Hello everyone. Meet Miss Anita again. How are you today? You are great. You are happy. And are you healthy? Good if you are healthy. That is important. Okay. Do you know what we are going to do? Miss Anita has a new story for all of you. Okay. Before Miss Anita show you the story, let Miss Anita talk to your parents for a while. Okay? Baik Bapak Ibu, hari ini saya akan mengajak anak-anak untuk menonton dan mendengarkan cerita. Kali ini ceritanya berjudul If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Nah, nanti saya uh, mohon bantuan dari Bapak Ibu untuk mendampingi anak-anak selama menonton dan mendengarkan cerita. Jadi nanti bisa diajak diskusi bersama juga seperti itu. Nanti saya juga akan menanyakan uh, pertanyaan seputar cerita yang akan anak-anak tonton dan dengarkan. Terima kasih. Oke, okay, friends. I have finished talking to your mom and your dad. Now, it's time for us to watch and listen to the story. Um, before we go to the story, I want you to guess what our story is. What is it about? Can you see what it is? Yes, it's a mouse. So, our story will be about a mouse. Okay, let's get ready. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Joben Numerov, illustrated by Felicia Born. If you give a mouse a cookie, can you find the mouse? Can you find the cookie? Okay. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, He'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then, he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So, he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So, you'll read to him from one of your books. and. He'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited and he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. Who likes to draw here? Hmm. This mouse is also likes to draw. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. So this is the picture that this mouse has finished drawing. Then he wants to sign with a pen. Can you find the pen? Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator. Which means he'll need... Let's go! 
कुछ थे he'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty so he'll ask for a glass of milk and chances are if he asks for a glass of milk he's going to want a cookie to go with it Okay, so that's the end of our story. So what do you think about the story? Do you enjoy the story about this little mouse? Okay, so I want to ask you some questions. So, who gets a cookie? Who gives the mouse a cookie? Do you like the mouse? What has the mouse done to the boy? Do you think the mouse helps the boy? What do you think about the boy? Is the boy a good boy? Why do you think so? Okay, do you think this boy and the little mouse, they are friends? Okay friends, this is the end of our story and i hope you can discuss more about the story of if you give a mouse a cookie with your parents okay miss anita will wait for your feedback you can send your feedback um through google drive or brightwell okay friends thank you have a nice day bye bye